Yeah. Hi, students. I am Dr. Badrinath. In this video, we will see the two compartment open model for IV infusion. Infusion, not the injection. Here, see infusion. Hand is there, patient hand is there, and uh, the drug we are giving for a longer time, large volume is called as a parent, large volume parental. So, we are giving infusion. We will see the model, what is the description, and what are the equations we are using for this model. This is the basic model. See, keep in your mind, since it is a two compartment, we are using a two boxes here. This is compartment one. Always central compartment uh, consists of a blood and highly perfused organs. And uh, number two, peripheral compartment consists of a low perfused organs and a wide variety of organs. Remaining all are consistent, okay? Like lungs, liver, kidney, brain, all comes in the first compartment along with the systemic circulation, right? And uh, since it is an IV route, no absorption is involved. So KA does not exist. Instead of that, rate of infusion we are using. See here, rate of infusion. Don't use the term KA here. Always use RO. Is nothing but rate of infusion. And it is always first order. Uh, sorry, zero order. Always zero order. R0. Uh, since the model is open, that point you have to write here. This is a zero order. Okay. Since the model is open, elimination exists. Elimination will be there. Since we are using an open model, elimination is possible. Elimination is always follows the first order. Okay. Rate of infusion is always zero order. This is zero order. This is first order. K12 is a distribution rate constant from first compartment to second compartment. K21 from here to here. K21. Okay. It is a redistribution rate constant from second compartment to the first compartment. K A K one to K one two K two one always follows the first order kinetics. That is nothing but a linear kinetics. This is the equation what we are using to calculate the concentration of the drug at any time after giving the IV infusion or during the infusion. If you are imagining your body as a two compartments, okay. C is equal to R zero. C is nothing but concentration of a drug present in the central compartment after time t. R0 is nothing but rate of infusion, either 2 drops per second, 3 drops per second, how much ml per second that you have to mention here. We see nothing but volume of central compartment. Ke is elimination rate constant and alpha and beta are the hybrid constants. Okay. By using this, you can automatically you can calculate the thing. Okay. This is uh, uh, next video. Uh, that we will see in the next video.